I think even if you don't like LeBron James, it's becoming increasingly difficult not to put him at the top of the list of, of all-time best players. If nothing else, um, I, I mean, I played against Jordan and, and frankly, he was terrifying. But I imagine that's very much the sensation people have playing against LeBron. They're different players, but at the same time, LeBron has a body size and makeup that would make an advantage, I think, for him, even against Jordan. It's, it's really hard not to put him, you can't, his outside shooting has improved, his passing has improved, his, his overall game sense, even his leadership, when you, you heard him mic'd up in a game the other day, even listen to the way he talks to his teammates, seems different and better. It's hard to say, he's got time to he can win another five championships. Then he's number one. I think it's, it's always too early to anoint people the greatest of all time, especially while they're still playing, because there's some part of it is a historical narrative. I mean, people talk well about Jordan, but it wasn't really until he retired and then came back and then retired again that it just became the unanimous decision. There are other players to consider, so I think when it comes to talking about greatest players, whether they, whatever sport, they tend to be strikers, right? scorers, they tend to be smaller, agile type guys. But there's, you know, Wilt Chamberlain is still the player who averaged 50 points a game. He was utterly, utterly dominant. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar had the most dominant single move in the game, the skyhook, that could not be, virtually, could not be stopped. There are, you know, Larry Bird would be my, one of my favorites. Because uh, I just think there's a man who has no business being in the NBA based on his athletic ability. I mean, there's a man who could jump less well than I do. And that's an achievement. Um, and whilst I would love to see these guys play against each other and to see them really compete, it's just hard to see how anybody would face up against the combination of strength, speed, smarts, outside shooting that he's developed at an earlier stage of his career than Jordan. It's hard to see how anybody beats that. And, and I'm not particularly a LeBron fan. So if I'm saying that, I'm sure people who like him will be saying more.